so friends welcome back or today we are going to talk about one another sector that is wire and cable sector the sector which has performed extremely well in last two uh, you can say decade it has given extraordinary return to most of the shareholders we are talking about stocks like polycap uh, havels then ka industry rr cables and all that now this cable in uh, industry you know has given a good return wires and cable industry and let us understand the history first a uh, little bit and how the sector is performing and how it is been useful to the end consumer and then we'll talk about three major stocks we are going to talk about the quarterly results are out of polycap then kia industry and havel so we'll try to compare with each other because these are the three major players in this industry and all these three players has given extraordinary return no i think if you see um, uh, polycap no and even havels is like a multi bagger stock even kia also is a multi bagger stock for the uh, shareholders so we'll talk about no how these companies are have performed in the last quarter and what is the future prospect also so stay till then guys we'll talk about all the stocks in detail and you'll get a complete overview about the industry so talking about cable industry guys acha before i go if you have any question related to any sector or stock please put it in the comment box as you aware i do answer each and every of your questions okay and do like and share this video so talking about cable industry guys cable industry if you see it has come on long way i think from uh, you can say 2000 onwards you no know, it is much more coming from on you no know, almost there was an unorganized sector now it is becoming much more organized sector still 70% Uh, is organized sector and 30% is almost unorganized sector but slowly and gradually it, it is moving towards you no know, much more favorable to the organized sector and that's why in organized sector like uh, polycap or you can say uh, this uh, rr cable or havels and you no know, uh, all these ki industry are doing quite well currently and they are getting benefit of it so cable in the, uh, in the why it is so so in demand See the reason is simple. The real estate development is going on, government infrastructure projects going on, power sector booming, and all this needs a cable. Okay, so for for power sector, you know that you no know, big big cables you want for the transmissions and all that. Similar in real estate also, you know in the building and house and all the residential area and all that. Similar government, you no know, infrastructure, whatever they are developing, you need cables at the end of the day. Again, now the renewable energy coming where the solar panels and all that. There also there are special type of cables related to that. So the use is extensive. the power gen uh, no industry is going to go even the infrastructure is going to boom over the years so this is the industry you know, which will be relevant for a long time and that's why if you see the growth overall if you see that uh, gdp is going by almost 7% uh, then this uh, this sector is growing by almost you can say 1.5 times or two times of like 13 to 14% is the growth of uh, this industry over the years and in future it may remain so only uh, it may remain good only because at the end of the day this is a business now where you need a uh, much more of course now when you are making all these cables you may it's a commodity business yeah but once you have a brand once you have a reach once you have a distribution network which all these most of the big companies which you are talking about they are already established then it becomes one type of moat okay and that is what is actually helping these companies again all these companies most of the company like polycap or havels so they are also getting into the electronics products and all that which is helping this company to uh, diversify their segments and you no know, they are also gaining the because uh, you know the demand of electronic goods is also there so correct and as they are there in this industry they are also giving this type of manufacturing services also and which is helping them so uh, overall if you see the demand is going to remain good only in future even currently also if you see as i told you that it's going with a double gdp growth rate the progress is there the only thing is you know which these uh, companies are getting hurt is just because if the raw material prices goes off so who, what are the raw material uh, for this cables and all that you need aluminum copper and all that no steel and all that so basically in that uh, no if the prices goes up of aluminum copper of course it is going to impact uh, the raw material cost and it will impact the margins of this company which has impacted currently like for polycap 
ఇంకా బేసిక్లీ రా మటీరియల్ ప్రైజెస్ షూట్ అప్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ వై నో ఇట్ గాట్ ఇంపాక్టెడ్ బట్ ఎస్ బట్ ఓవర్ ఆల్ అక్రాస్ ద ఇయర్స్ ఇట్స్ బీన్ స్టేబుల్ ఓన్లీ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ హెల్పింగ్ దీస్ కంపెనీస్ ఓకే ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ టాక్ అబౌట్ ద సేల్స్ అండ్ గ్రోత్ profitability over there is you know, all these companies has a much better more than 20% uh, uh, no growth over the years even the you can talk about you uh, know if you see there what is the growth in cagr in the prices the prices cagr is also much much better when we talk about havels also in fires it has given you <coughs> 21% cagr it and even polycap 52 kia industry 49% so this type of return crazy return these companies are given so let us understand about these companies in detail how was the quarterly result a uh, quarterly result is important to understand because then only it will give you the guidance on what is going to happen in future so when we talk about uh, all these companies you know let us take one by one uh, let us take havels first so havels is not only in wire and cables as you are aware now this is there in the electronic business also okay switch gears and no lighting fixture electronic consumables so uh, this thing you always keep in mind guys just to go before that before i explain to you everything always remember guys whenever you want to understand about any company or any industry and this is what we do in our research also i have my own research you know we do give stock recommendations so we always cut them or uh, devil uh, basically no see them segment wise okay so suppose you have a total sales now what is the segment wise all these companies are doing and this is why it is so important because at the end of the day guys once you are aware that okay this is the segment wide growth is coming overall and that will help you that will help you to understand at each segment level what is the growth and at each segment level what is the profitability and that is why it is very very important to understand segment wise so when we talk about havels uh, the total sales year on year has grown by 16% but the profit has gone by 7% only one of the reason was uh, raw material prices gone up and all that uh, no because of that but when we talk of the segment wise no see the main segment is cables okay which is almost 39.5% okay another big segment is in electronic consumables uh, then you know that lloyd consumer lloyd they already have a own segment uh, switch gears is almost 12% now every segment has almost their own ebitda margin okay ebitda or a profitability margin and why you have to understand this because a segment which is contributing the most and if it, it has a good uh, profitability you know, it will always increase the profitability of a company correct so when we talk about uh, the ebitda margin of cables for them it is almost 8.6% so uh, profitability margin around 8.6% eh? switch gears they are almost 20.9% okay when we talk about consumer durables because it is a consumer durables it's almost 7.5% but then main pain point is lloyd lloyd they they owned their brand in 2019 they bought is actually negative and that is when you know, they are facing lot of issue because if you have a negative profitability in one segment it may bring down the Uh, the complete profitability so that is what is happening for havels overall you know the one of the reason why their profitability is not so uh, in line with the what the sales growth is because uh, the lloyd and all that uh, department is not doing good when we talk about uh, ka industry ka industry 93% is cables and wires it's a pure you can say cable and wire company where they are having a 10.5% uh, no growth Uh, sorry uh, ebitda margin and all that overall their sales has grown by 10 uh, 17% and profitability by 10% there also profitability is less for all the companies this time the profitability is much lesser than earlier and that's why you see havels polycab and of course the market has fallen it has fallen by almost you can say 15 to 20% from the top okay so cables is the highest which is having around 10.5% uh, uh, basically margin epc that is engineering procurement and consumer that is almost 6.3% growth there you have a good profitability of 9.2% margin uh, okay and ssw is almost 4.8% uh, margin that is there now comes the wire the big daddy of wire and cables industry is nothing but polycap in polycap also 88% is the wires and cable segment only okay 
तो एफ एम ई जी जो है इट्स लाइक लेस देन वॉट हैवेल तो उनका उतना बड़ा नहीं है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंज्यूमेबल्स दैट इज अराउंड सेवन परसेंट एंड देर ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट मेकिंग प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ओके रेस्ट इज अदर्स बट बेसिकली फॉर हैवेल्स वायर एंड केबल्स इज अराउंड टेन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी सो इफ यू सी द वायर एंड केबल सेगमेंट फॉर एक्रॉस ऑल द थ्री कंपनीज ऑल्सो यू सी बिकॉज दे आर द मेजर चंक ऑफ देयर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इज द मार्जिन इज अराउंd टेन percent only that is what normally the margin remains now you may you have seen that when i discussed the segment wise right, so the profitability is impacted so as i told you the project uh, was basically one is the raw material prices mostly the gone up for most of the companies again like for havels you now there is an advertisement and increasing staff cost aapko advertisement to karni padenge because competition is too big okay so that they have again no uh, pricing inventory is there kei also same thing uh, no unka basically uh, raw material prices mein zyada unka jo uh, basically profitability impact hua even for polycap no intense competition they have to increase their advertisement and again no their consumables segment actually is now not making so much of profitability so price erosion is there when your goods are not selling you have to give into discount similarly for havels also the same electronic segment has not done so great as it used to be okay overall if you see the no uh, other than this sales sales demand is quite good across okay and uh, basically slowly and gradually you know, they are doing export also uh, like polycap is now focusing on the export Uh, of course other two companies are not so much but polycap is now actually started focusing on export so that is also helping company to grow now when we talk about you no know, overall that uh, what should what is the future prospects and all that look like let us understand from the ratio point of view and also the management commentary point of view like first let us talk about the managed commentary then we'll compare the you know all the companies with the ps comparison so that you have a much more better flavor you now where the things are going so when we talk about the what management is saying so when we talk about havels so what havels is saying that there'll be a decent growth over the years not a problem again but they are uh, basically they are saying that whatever advertisement promotion expenses which has actually impacted the profitability in future they are going to focus on that and try to reduce that again the only concern they have uh, for, uh, from the havels point of view that you not know, the uh, basically high volatility in the commodity prices again as the china is is coming up you no know, because the china is coming up you know that metal prices are going up and that is i know it is directly impacting the profitability again their consumable products and switch gears and all that you no know, uh they're not grown as such so they're still working on that how they can they can make it much more profitable okay the electronic consumable part when we talk about the uh, basically ka industry they are saying that because of this renewable uh, segment and all that no that the demand they are getting very good okay again uh, their main concern is that uh, uh, copper and aluminum prices when we talk about the polycap they have across a very very good uh, oh, overall growth now they are focusing on international business and where they can see a quarter to quarter 36% jump in the international businesses so uh, that is working for polycap again but uh, basically uh, that is the competition again the advertisement spend and you no know, then main concern is same electronic products which is not making them profitability now when we talk about the valuation and all that you no know, let us compare this companies you know with each other okay and let us compare with havels with their counterparts now havels mein aap jaise maine bola it's been a company you no know, it has given a great return over the times however when we see their pe ratio and all that it is almost trading at 78 times now that is where you no know, pe ratio is quite high of course that roe roc is around 17 24 is uh, uh, roc okay rest equity to debt Debt to equity is almost nil. Overall, the years a return is given great, but when you have this type of uh, crazy P ratio, crazy valuation, you always have to keep in mind, guys, that at the end of the day, you have to deliver a very, very good result if you really want to sustain, you no, know, against the competition. 
and uh, sorry against the competition and uh, also the price erosion if you want to avoid in the stock price you, know, you have to give that type of good result this time what happened the result was not so great mainly uh, the profitability point of you know it has not given a great reason that is what the started impacting but when we talk about the prospects and all that is good so if they work on the electronic products and all that i think thing may be uh, much much better okay and uh, overall also in future the, the looking at the way the management is saying you no know, they may see a, a good growth of maybe 15 plus in the sales and profitability of 20 plus over the years for next two three years which is, which will help Hevels to grow. All these type of companies are such a company you know, where you have to keep it with you. But no, uh, if you want to add these stocks, you know, more, if they are coming down, you, know, you can add it because they are, uh, no, you can say a consistent compounder. Okay. So that is all about Hevels. When we talk about, uh, let us talk about now KI industry. Okay. And Polycap. Because mostly they are wires and cable focus. So, their P ratio is around 50 cent, 58. Uh, both are trading around that only. Of course, they, they are much more ahead than the counterparts. When we talk about their ROE, ROC is about more than 20%, which is also a good point. Okay, over the years, in last five years, both the company has given more than 50% CAGR return. A consistent compounder, both the companies have been there in last five years, 50% which is very good. It's like a multi bagger only. So everything is working and their focus and their determination in this industry is quite good. So what, uh, now when we talk about what is the future prospect, so when we talk about the valuation point of, you know, uh, things will be much, much better in future as the EPS will grow. So even though we can see that, of course, the P ratio is on a higher side, if that growth continues and it will be able to catch the in future uh the price okay then you have no problem see at the end of the day you have a high valuation and what is your return coming every quarter if your return is good then you can always have a demand a higher prices and in future also no they can easily grow above more than 20 percent cagr both i am talking about uh Polycab and KIA industry, they both have a good prospect to go about 20% profitably growth over the time. Only the main thing is, you know, how is the execution, how they are able to you know, focus on the demand which is there and how they are able to deliver the stuff. See, at the uh, even though as this time we have seen that your sales is doing very good, but at the end of the day, you know, your profitability should also come good. Okay, if this is going to be a quarter, where your sales is, sales may not be a problem because the way the infrastructure activity, residential area, even commercial, even when we talk about the power sector, the way it is growing, I don't think there will be a problem on the sales point of view. It is just how you, they are able to maintain their margins because at the end, profitability matters. At the end of the day, what is your EPS matters. So that is what you have to keep in mind you know, that uh, in the next few quarters, how they are able to turn around their, their profitability point of view. Once they are able to do that, I think these are the companies you know, which may do extremely well in next few years also, even though they have performed in last five years also. So this is what my take is, guys. And again, before uh, investing in, in these stocks, please do your own check own uh, research and then only ways i'm a sebi register research analyst and guys if you are liking what type of research we are doing we have a discounted uh, you can say uh, recommendation services we are currently giving okay festival season is going you can go and check it out the link is given below and if you have any questions or anything put it in the chat box also i have given a link in the comment box for our next uh, webinar where you can learn a lot and also our recommendation service okay go and check it out so thank you very much for joining guys and i'll see you soon next time if you have any question put it in the chat box and see you then bye bye